Okay, so here we are at the hyper-yielding cereal project site in 2018 and we've set up a demonstration for our event this year that's probably one of the most visual you'll see for Tasmanian growing conditions. It not only shows short and long developing varieties, but the tremendous difference we have in genetic resistance. Everything you see here has been sown in early April. On this side of me, you have untreated with no fungicide on this side treated. And if we start with this variety, which was our highest yielding variety of the early sowings in 2016 and yielded 14.4 tonnes a hectare. You can see the canopy with full protection of fungicide green to the base. On this side, in comparison here, untreated with fungicide, you can begin to see that the effects of leaf rust are beginning to affect the leaf tissue. So this variety is reacting to the leaf rust pressure. The variety yet hasn't flowered, so it is a later developer. As we move up, this is an Australian ASW wheat, quite long in the straw, probably not suited to this uh, early sowing date. But you can see that it's got some issues with septoria pressure early and leaf rust pressure late. So fungicides are vitally important here. And in this case, what a huge demonstration of the value of fungicides. But the diseases that we get that affect these untreated crops aren't the same. So this is an example of a wheat that's come from New Zealand via and originated in Europe that's got leaf rust susceptibility. And this is just to show the importance of farm biosecurity. That's leaf rust pustules on this variety untreated. Similarly, this is another German wheat where the problem's not so much leaf rust, but septoria triticae. So untreated with fungicide, you can see clearly this difference where we've applied fungicide and where we haven't. As we move up, here we've got an Australian bred, hard quality wheat that you can see exceptional disease resistance here on the untreated portion of the trials. You can actually see very little difference between the variety grown there with no fungicide support and here with full fungicide support. And probably with the environment that we've got here in Tasmania in terms of disease pressure, there's probably no better demonstration of both the genetic resistance and the ability of fungicides to control disease anywhere in Australia this year.